But all zebras have black and white stripes, Nash. Of course, there's more than one species of zebra. Chester, maybe that's it. It turns out there are three different kinds of zebras. And each kind of zebra has different stripes. Take a look, Nash. Nope, long stripes. Well, there's this one. Nah, -uh. Here's the third one, the plain zebra. That looks like one we've seen around here. What do you say? Yep. Yeah. 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 But wait, what is it, Lily? We still don't know how to pick out Natch's zebra from all the other zebras around here. Yes, but it also says that every individual zebra has a unique pattern of stripes. So you can tell them apart. But we don't know what that zebra looks like. Hmm. Hail. <gasps> Natch's selfie with the zebra. We'll totally be able to see its stripes now. Audrey, could you scan for zebra herds? Scanning, scanning. I have detected a few herds of zebra directly ahead. All yes. right, then let's go! Wow, so many zebras. And we have to find just the right set of stripes. I'm having an engineering moment. Behold, the polo zebra matcher. It should be able to compare the stripe pattern of Nash's zebra to any other zebra. Yay! Is it here? Hmm, it doesn't look like Nash's zebra is in this herd. Well, I guess we'll keep looking then. Let's go! It's not in this herd, or this one. Nope, Nash's zebra isn't in this herd either. I wonder why zebras even have stripes. <gasps> when they move, their stripes make it hard to tell where one zebra starts and another one ends. So it would be hard for predators, too. That must be why they have stripes. For protection. My zebra! <laughs> Scanning. Scanning. It's a match! That's Nash's zebra! I think Nash already knew that. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Scientists think their stripes also confuse bugs and keep them from being bitten. I wish I had stripes. With a tree that's just like it. How would we do that? There's probably another tree like the sapling growing here somewhere. And maybe it would have seeds. So we could plant those. Yay! Which tree is it? So many trees. Trees of the same species have the same kind of leaves. So if we could find a tree with the same leaf, it would be the same kind of tree. It's sort of long with some squiggly edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight tips on each leaf. And there's a line down the middle that ends in the stem. I think I found it. It looks like it's an oak leaf. So we're looking for an oak tree. Polos, let's go on a tree hunt. Yeah! The leaf is just as long, but doesn't have squiggly edges. This has the edges, but fewer tips. Got it! It's got the same edges, the same number of tips, and the same line down the middle. Uh, it's littler. That's because this is a big tree and our sapling is a young tree. That's the one. Now all we have to do is find a seed. Acorns? Are those the seeds? Right. Oak trees grow from acorns. Look! Wow! Sweet! Poor little sapling. Let's try to plant it again. Good Let's idea! Try it. Huh. Yeah! Arm in arm and hand in hand, everyone across. 
across the land. If you want to grow a tree, just plant a seed. Watch it grow, watch it grow. Change the world when you sow seeds of love and hope. Watch it grow. See the earth bright and green, bright the air fresh and clean. Feel the love and hope. Watch it grow. A nice deep hole. Some tape for your trunk. Sticks to hold you up. Lots of soil for your roots. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Hack down uh -huh. for a mesh. And lots of water. Looks pretty good. You know what? Maybe that little tree isn't a goner after all. Oh, I read about them. They're called flying squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't have wings like a bird. They have flaps of skin under their arms that they use like a parachute. Oh, so they don't really fly. They glide, like a person on a hang glider. Cool! Wow. Scientists think they do it to escape danger and to save the energy they would use climbing around. I don't think it likes the light. I'll turn this off. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> It's an owl! I really want to see an owl. Then let's head this way. <laughs> wow! I think it's a great horned owl. They're great hunters. They prey on rabbits, squirrels, and even skunks. Those are big animals for a bird that size. Is that a great horned owl too? That must be the female. It's higher. So you can tell the males from the females just by listening. Look out! Ah! Look, a different one. Cool face. Ooh, ooh. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'll say, I think this one is a barn owl. And it <laughs> doesn't hoot like most owls do. It shrieks. You know, I was a teeny bit nervous about being in the dark. You were? You know I was. Oh, it's okay, Willow. <laughs> but it turned out to be wonderful. Listen, you can hear the animals that are out at night. It's like a song. A night song. Have you noticed the night has a rhythm And a melody all of its own And the music that goes along with them Is the sparkle of stars in the moonlit sky Goes on and on and on Night song, night song Grab a shooting star and sing along Night song, night song It's a magical sound, are you listening? Your heart can sing night songs <laughs> And it smells like... What is this stuff? This stuff, Gorby, is mucus. What's mucus? This stuff, Gorby. The same green stuff that comes out of your nose. Whale boogers? Ew. Uh-oh. Whales don't need to surface for long to breathe. They shut their blowhole and then dive back underwater. Inside, everybody. Whales are humongous. <gasps> Whale song! Wow! It's 
so loud. That's so the whale can be heard by other whales from far away. <sighs> I really hope it'll sing with us. Let's find out. Hello, we are the Polos. And we'd be honored if we could record you singing with us. <gasps> you and your baby, how cute. Like a Nash yawn. Uh -huh. 